People often ask me how I ended up here. You know, of all the tasting rooms in the world, how did a grape like me end up in a place like this? Well, I guess I need to go back to the beginning. This is home, Tolosa Winery. It's located in one of the most beautiful places on earth, San Luis Obispo, California, on the Edna Ranch. It's not far from the ocean on the central coast, so the days are warm and the nights are cool. It's heaven for us grapes. Here's where I used to hang. Tolosa plants all its grapes in a block system. I was planted in the Pinot Noir block. At harvest, Tolosa goes row by row, selecting only the best grapes. But I'm getting ahead of myself. If you're wondering where the name Tolosa came from, it's a very interesting story. You see, I'm a bit of a history buff. I didn't spend my whole life just soaking up the sun. Tolosa took its name from the Mission San Luis Obispo de Tolosa, founded over two centuries ago by Franciscan priests. They also established the first vineyard in the area and produced some of the most renowned wines of early California. Rumor has it some of the first mission vines are still in existence. But you know how us grapes like to talk. Hear that buzz? It's harvest time. This is the moment grapes have been working towards all year. For us Pinot Noir, it's a particularly stressful time. We're not known for our thick skins. If we're not picked promptly at maturity, we dry up like a raisin. Added to our anxiety level, Tolosa selects less than 10% of their entire grape population for their wine. It's enough to make any grape shrink. Fortunately, Tolosa is very sensitive to our needs. We're hand harvested and taken to their crush pad, where we're destemmed and gently transferred to their fermenters. Next stop is Tolosa's tank room, named obviously for the tanks, not so obviously for the fermentation process that occurs here. These tanks hold over 1,500 gallons of grape juice and later wine. This is where I graduated. Tolosa uses these tanks to ferment small lots of four to five tons of red grapes and handcraft their wines. During the fermentation process, a cap of red grape skins rises to the top, which gets punched down. No, nobody gets hurt. It just helps integrate the skins with the juice and makes it easier to extract the color and tannins. Hang in there, guys. Only a few days left. There's the Tolosa principals, Bob Schiebelhut and Jim Eford. They're very hands-on in the winemaking process and share the same philosophy. It's all about being honest to the grape. It sounds esoteric, but it's quite simple. Basically, they believe grapes should be able to express their full natural potential. Tolosa doesn't manipulate grapes to create characteristics of other varietals. They just let me be me. They take great care, for instance, selecting the best barrels for aging. For us Pinot Noir, it's 100% French oak. I could go on about the barrels, but I'll leave that for the barrel to tell you some other time. Suffice to say, Tolosa ages its wine in the very best barrel to reach our maximum potential. The final stage is getting ready for bottling. This is where Tolosa's winemaker works his magic. The trick is to remove any negative components while retaining the positive ones. He's a veritable Merlin. You should really experience Tolosa and see why I consider myself one of the luckiest grapes around. They have this incredible tasting room, not your typical Italianate design. While you're there, ask for me. 